I don't care who you are, you're going to lose your edge. And again, nothing against Kansas who's playing really well right now. He picks up his dribble. Jared Butler with five to shoot. Step back three. Got it. They've been rock solid. Remember, this is one of the best defensive teams in the country. Elite on both ends of the floor. As McBride tried to force one up, he was shut down by Butler. Hesitation dribble for Butler. Leans in. What a start for Baylor. Coming off the loss to Kansas. Jared Butler, who was a Kansas killer until Saturday night when he just laid an egg, is back on track. The All-American, he's back. That pass a little too hard for Culver to handle. Vital gets the steal. And Butler stepped on the sideline. That drives me crazy, Bob. Ball. I mean, guys even find a hard time creating some space near the sideline just because. I would advise any young man, especially Juco kids, who have the free year, if you're not going to be an NBA player, idea, take advantage of, the, of uh, what the NCAA has laid out and uh, continue to play college basketball. Butler back in the game, hits an NBA three. And McMatthews contested two. And Butler's got the rebound. Breach, but they have to tighten up defensively. Yes. Because they are allowing easy buckets. Here's Sherman. And he is fouled by Butler. They've got five all-time titles, all back from the 20s to the 50s in the Southwest Conference. Team from Waco. Wide open Butler. Front rim, offensive rebound, Meyer. Butler tries again. That one's in and out. Another offensive rebound and a hustle play by Baylor to keep it alive. That three won't go for Davion Mitchell, but it's run well, That's down pretty good hustle. Yet again by Flagler. <laughs> All guards rebounding. Butler on the drive. Baylor still keeps it alive. Mitchell lost it. Butler finds it. Meyer to the baseline with a shot fake. How wow. many looks does Baylor get to come away empty? The rim is open. They had him. From the corner, it is good before halftime. Butler with a step back that gives Baylor a little bit of momentum. But I think the fatigue is something that uh, you can't really account for. So I expect him to play better. That's a great start. Butler, answer. Big. Dribble. Now Mochachua bailed him out. No confidence by Baylor. They don't know when to shoot or pass. Step back is in and out. John Mochachua tried to keep it alive. Eric Martin over to see Sean McMeal. I told you the story. He left Bellarmine after two days on campus. And what an addition. Big basket by Flagler. Nobody's Little back. He getting back on defense, trying to throw it down. Big shots. They make shots. And in talk, take a look at this. And Great. Offensive rebound. Vital. Who else? Shovels nice one underneath pass. to Meyer. It caroms right to Butler for an easy two. Ranked team in their history before he arrived. Almost 100 years. Meyer gets to the baseline. Nice feed from Butler. Butler can't knock it down. Gets his own miss. Puts it back up. That rolls off the rim. Well, let's just play the games. Keep the kids safe. We've done that by and large. We're seeing great basketball. Nice pass. It'll Good give slip and go. to the goal. Bamba lays it in. Take a look. Watch Butler now. A little pick and roll. See Culver's up too high. Culver never drops down the level of Thamba, who gets behind the possession game with four minutes to go. Butler floats it up to Meyer. Set play. And the alley-oop works to perfection. Bob, did you see any of this last season from Sherman and McNeil? Any of this?
for three. Ties the game. McBride McNeil. Meyer feeling it. Why not? Nearly perfect today for Taz Sherman. Only two misses and 25 points. Butler gets to the rim. Plus the foul. Sizing up Bridges. There's going to be, that could have been a foul, no foul, but just watch. Patience, patience, and on the drive, look how vital seals off Osaboyan. Osaboyan panics, tries to get back in front, commits the foul. Mark Vital quietly does his job there and allows his teammate to get to the basket. And then Vital with a foul on the Butler free throw miss. Good matchup, but McBride doesn't want a foul. Butler, hesitation dribble, blocked from behind by Deuce McBride. Is it out of bounds off of Butler? Roger Ayers signaled West Virginia basketball. I think they'll automatically go to the monitor to make sure they got that one right. About this is it opens up the court. They'll get it to Butler. Ten seconds to go. I'd go now. And he will. In the mid-range, he'll drive it and tie it up Man. with a few seconds remaining. Woo! Watch Butler take this ball right to Culver's chest. When you take the ball to a shot blocker's chest, you eliminate his ability to elevate. Watch this. Culver wants a jump, but he can't get any height because Butler goes right to the chest. Boom. And we know how good a finisher he is. If you're West Virginia, Take overtime and be happy. Deuce McBride. Quarterback. He was a high school quarterback and a great one at that. Instead, we will play overtime potentially. As John Mochachua intercepts the length of the court pass. But we're in the midcourt area. The, what, the Baylor player will have two bounces. Oh, they're going to lob it down towards oh, the no. Line. Oh, That's interesting. Oh, no. Meyer didn't That's touch not... it. Taz Sherman didn't touch it. So now a catch and shoot or a dribble opportunity with no time coming off the clock for West Virginia to try and win now, the game. Let's watch now because I think Scott Bachman. Well, there's no foul, so that, that's that's eliminated. But you cannot throw the ball out of bounds. A break for West Virginia. Deuce McBride will inbound. A chance for the Mountaineers to win it. It's into McNeil. Right back. McBride double clutch. And we will go to overtime between number six and number three. We'll send it to Dan Schulman and Jay Billis with number two against number four. Here's McBride. He will go to the free throw line. There's a three from the corner for Man. Butler. Set play. Eight to shoot. As Sherman, size advantage on Butler, working in the post, gets fouled. Great fake. That'll do it for Butler. Butler is done. That is his fifth foul. Well, before he leaves, he hit a big three just moments ago. Now we're yeah, down to eight seconds to go. Here's McNeil, 4-3. That's no good. Tapped around. Bridges has it, but time's going to run out on the Mountaineers. What a win for Baylor. Welcome back to the Baylor Bears. They are the champions in the regular season of the Big 12. And as we said, it is their first conference championship in 71 years. You think Scott Drew knows it?